My name is Jackie Amesquita. I'm a Central America artist based in Los Angeles, California. I was born in Quetzaltenango, Guatemala, and migrated to the United States in 2003. My practice has been influenced by my family history of diaspora and my experiences as a formerly undocumented immigrant. Today, we are here at UCLA Margot Living Studios. As like an armature probably like an amulet something that is protecting the banana but at the same time feeling how much pressure I'm putting on the banana I don't know if at the end this is gonna look like maybe black and old bruise two different pieces of copper with this other metal that way I can make a box where I'm going to later like seat down this soil slabs this is like the integration of the two from the inside of the copper these are 12 soil slabs from a food gathering called proclamation that started in 2020 I currently have 46 soil slabs and I'm currently building this copper frames where they're sitting. This is kind of like a test that I'm doing. This is how kind of like I put them together by soldering two pieces of copper with another metal. These 12 soil slabs were holding 12 different Latin American dishes. For example, pupusas, arroz con frijoles, pepian, and enchiladas. These slabs are made out of soil from banais, and it's a mix of soil from banais with corn flour and salt and rainwater, and they're coated with cal, limestone, in the back, and also what square right here is limestone. And this, this was a food gathering that happened before COVID. People were invited to eat using their fingers and drinking from orange peels. So my intention in here is to document all the 120 neighborhoods that make Los Angeles. This soils lab is from Granada Hills and is the same recipe using corn flour, rainwater, salt, and soil from the neighborhood of Granada Hills. Like for example, this one is from West Hollywood, this is from Pacoima, this is from Arlita, and this one is from Mission Hills. And here I have different vegetables and fruits. It's pretty much the recipe that makes the guacamole tomatoes, avocados, limes, lemons, jalapenos, cilantro, 
and all these containers are on top of two different copper plates that are connected with straws. The straws are for the flies to navigate from one container into another. They're also referencing that they're sharing the same breath. The flies use the straws to integrate into the container. They change the chemical reaction into the environment and this is how we can see sometimes some of the patina colors from one container and not into the other one. And that might be reflected more like in these entrances in here. Some of the flies sometimes get away out of like the system by some of those gaps and holes that are with the straws that are connecting them. I seen some of the flies coming out of a container and then coming back in or finding another container to go in and integrate. This right here is how they look like after they were released. They were confined for a period of nine months. This is pretty much what I have on the wall. And it's from the same edition. And there's an edition of, there's three different generations and each generation has 17 copper plates. So in here we have seven different products that were contained in the seven different copper plates for a period of nine months. Each container was connected with each other so they were breathing the same air. So each container was segregated with their own kind of... Let's say this ones were like bananas so there's only bananas in here. In this one I had apples so apples were contained in this one. You can see some like residue of maggots in this container. Some of those maggots navigated from one container to another container, integrating themselves and transforming each environment differently. The way they navigating in the containers, like all these lines right here, are like the larva or the flies just jumping around. This one is in progress and I have different bananas from different parts of Latin America. It's about 8 feet by 12 inches and is being confined in this container for over two weeks. series of three different narratives using soil from the border and this one specifically I'm using soda from the borders that connect Mexico and the US. This soil right here is from Arizona, this one that is brown is from California and this more sand color is from Texas and I acquired all this soil when I had the opportunity to go to the border for the first time and during on our project that I was doing with Ambo's team in 2018 and this talks about my experience of diaspora and migration and it says my sweat tells the story since the day is born until the day dies my body holds the weight of the fight while my hands feed the soil of a humanity that cannot listen under the shadows, there's no right. There's only obligations, never giving up for those who are awaiting for me at home so they can continue existing. And I'm gonna read it in Spanish because it's like different than English, so. 
mi sudor cuenta la historia desde que el día nace hasta que el día muere mi cuerpo sostiene el peso de la lucha mientras mis manos alimentan el suelo de una humanidad que no escucha bajo las sombras no hay ningún derecho solo una obligación nunca rendirte seguir resistiendo para que los que me esperan en casa puedan seguir existiendo This work is a list of names of people who lost their lives in ICE detention centers and this list has the names of people since 2003 to 2017 and then from 2018 to 2022 and the list also integrates the name of the children who also passed in ICE detention centers. Mm -hmm. 